People from My Neighborhood by Hiromi Kawakami is an interesting book. It definitely leans into Kawakami's description of an offbeat fiction author. Uh, if you don't know, Hiromi Kawakami wrote books such as Strange Weather in Tokyo, The Ten Loves of Mr. Nishino, and Nakao no Thrift Shop. I've only really read Strange Weather in Tokyo, and frankly, I only read People from My Neighborhood because I went to a bookshop uh, last week and I saw Hiromi Kawakami and I was going to buy Strange Weather in Tokyo for a friend, and so I just decided to buy all of the books they had by Hiromi Kawakami because I have no sense of financial responsibility when it comes to buying books. But People from My Neighborhood was a very short book. I believe it was approximately 121 pages, obviously in the English version of it. And I was just kind of confused at first, then intrigued. I don't think I was blown away. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. I wish Goodreads had half stars. I would have probably given it three and a half stars because I think it's a little bit better than three, but not as good as four. But this book was interesting. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but essentially this book is a collection of short stories. However, all the short stories are linked. They are about this neighborhood slash town in Japan but the neighborhood slash town is just completely weird. Again, I've only read Strange Weather in Tokyo by Kawakami, so to me, Strange Weather in Tokyo wasn't that strange of a book. However, reading People from My Neighborhood is extremely strange to me. It, I mean, it wasn't a bad read. I think paying £7.99 at a bookshop for a book that's £1, that's 121 pages, you know, that's a whole different thing to do with the pricing of books in the UK. I wouldn't say that's Kawakami's fault, but it was very weird. So you're basically following the narrator as they talk about their life and the lives of people around them in this town in Japan. The town apparently goes through some extremely weird things. There are some very interesting characters be it a person who is a principal for dogs and only really loves dogs, to a girl that ends up being some sort of oracle that can speak to the dead, but also she tries to apparently take over Japan at some point. Some weird stuff happens, potentially with aliens, with fly gods. It is a bag of worms. And at first I was like, oh man, I don't want to read this. And then I was like, wait, what? I need to keep on reading this. Characters are mentioned in different short stories in this book. And then they are gone into more detail later on in the book, which is really fun. It kind of reminds me of Before the Coffee Gets Cold, where characters are introduced in earlier parts and then are elaborated on much further on in the book. This happens a lot in this book, but again, much shorter, much stranger than Before the Coffee Gets Cold. But frankly, I don't mind it. I mean, look, if you aren't really used to reading kind of weird, very much offbeat fiction, as her work is often described as, you might not like this. If you're someone like me who is like, a little bit more open-minded to the stranger works of fiction out there, then give it a go. Again, paying £7.99 for a book that's 121 pages, you know, I, I don't really know about that, uh, but I don't want you to go buy the book on Amazon because you shouldn't buy books on Amazon. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was strange. It was short and sweet. I basically read it on a train journey about two hours or so. I recommend it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's not for the faint of heart because there's nothing really gruesome in it. There's some weird messed up stuff, to be honest. But, you know, 
maybe maybe we all need a little bit of weird messed up stuff so yeah go and read people from my neighborhood by hiromi kawakami let me know if you have read it in the comments down below i'd love to find more people who have read this book have you read any other of kawakami's books like i mentioned i bought all of her books or all the books i could find of hers that were in the waterstones i was in so it was about five or six books i this book definitely made me want to read more of her books so let me know if you've read any more of her books in the comments down below and hey i hope you don't mind this format uh, i am home for the holidays and i didn't bring my camera with me and i couldn't be bothered to record with my phone because that's a whole other bag of worms again so i thought i just do the audio and then i'm going to use pictures so hopefully editor me afterwards is using interesting pictures question mark thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video hey have a great christmas because this video is going to come out the day before christmas i think maybe two days before and i'm going to see you next week for what's hopefully gonna be my top five books of the year so get prepared for that uh just a note i didn't read any books that came out this year all of these are going to be books that have been out for probably over a decade. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share the video. I hope you have some fairly normal strangers. Strangers? Neighbours. And hopefully your neighbours aren't strangers. Uh, please read a good book. <laughs>